Hello students. Now today in this class we have a new topic that is the uh, principle of reversibility of light. Yes, before it we have discussed the refraction through the glass slab. Okay. Now related that one when the light passes from one medium to another you know that the light bends from its actual path but suppose that in the another medium there is the reflecting portion if there is some object which can bounce back the light in the same direction in that case we can okay see the light will again reverse in that direction it means that suppose that this is the air medium and this is the water medium there are two mediums in which assume that one ray of light this is the incident incident ray okay it falls on the surface up to that it passes in this water medium you know that it should goes like that but due to change in the mediums it will bend here is the one okay object and that is the mirror and mirror when the light will fall on this suppose that at point a and then the light will reverse in that direction it will not go in others it will be in the same directions because because the light has the natures when it will goes from denser to rarer okay so it will away from this normal is it clear so i have assumed here this is the air mediums a and water medium b okay the light is coming from object o okay and at points when it incident suppose that here is the p points or any you can assume after that it passes and fall on the mirror it reverse in the same path and that we can say this is the principles of the reversibility we will find out the relation also i have written here it states that if light after suffering any number of reflection or refraction has its final path reverse it travel back along the same path in the opposite direction whatever if there is 2 3 4 5 whatever you will take the medium there is same condition that when the light will goes okay if it will be reverse then it will be in there on the actual path okay so according to laws of refractions you know that we have the formula the snell's law and again you will use this one here so what will be the refractive index when the light will from a to b mediums okay when the light will passes passes from air air to water medium water medium therefore refractive index refractive index index refractive index from medium a to a to b okay so you will write by using the snell's law mu equal to that is the a you can give here a mu b is equal to sin i by sin r we have formula mu is equal to sin i by sin r here is medium a to b so you can give the a to b is it clear so you can put this is a question first similarly also similarly similarly from medium b to a 
medium b to a what you will write mu equal to sin r by sin e sin r by sin e and same process we will give the light is reversing so here will be b to a okay and so this will be the second equation there are two equation we have a mu b is equal to sin i by sin r and b mu a equal to sin r by sin e now we can multiply now multiplying multiplying equation 1 and 2 if you will multiply then you can write here a mu b into b mu a equal to here will be sin i by sin r into sin r by sin i so all we cancel out now here okay so sin r to sin r sin i and sin i will cancel out you will write a mu b into b mu a equal to y or you can write a mu b equal to 1 by b mu a can we write this one okay so this will be the relation <coughs> of the principle of reverse reversibility of light so you should write this ones related that topics okay next topic we will also complete and those who are the new student please like and share okay thank you student